Welcome to Solar Basics. I'm Kelsey Misbrenner, Senior Editor of Solar Power World. And I'm Kelly Pickerel, Editor-in-Chief. Most states have now adopted the latest National Electrical Code, which requires rapid shutdown capabilities inside solar arrays. Module-level rapid shutdown devices can satisfy these requirements. There are a few key characteristics installers should look for when evaluating rapid shutdown devices. All of these functions can be checked out by reviewing test reports from trusted sources like PV Evolution Labs. First, make sure the device can perform safe and reliable switching in an emergency. If this function is missing, firefighters could assume a system is de-energized when it really isn't. Next, make sure the product can accurately detect faults and has the proper shutdown response. Try to avoid any devices that create electrical noise since it could interfere with proper arc fault detection. This noise increases the likelihood of nuisance tripping, or even worse, of not detecting a real arc. It could also interfere with the shutdown signal of some systems, making it difficult to rely on the array shutting down when necessary. The next trait to look for in a rapid shutdown device is a limited number of connection points for less of an arc risk. The more connection points, the greater the chance for electrical installation errors leading to DC connector faults. Finally, find a rapid shutdown device that is cost-effective and has tested and proven its longevity. Solar projects are 20 plus year investments, so all components should aim for that lifespan. When assessing rapid shutdown solutions on the market, put safety first and then consider added cost. For more on rapid shutdown requirements, read our story online and stay tuned for the next Solar Basics videos.